Hi, I'm Kara. Welcome to my channel. I, I've been making crochet tutorial videos for a while now, but I'm kind of interested in exploring a new crochet with me vlog type video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how, or like my, my process and how I'm designing this bunny pattern here. Um, I've been designing her for the past couple weeks and filming at the same time so it's a bit inconsistent, a little chaotic um, but hopefully you guys enjoy watching everything come together and I'll also be including a link to a Canva template that I've made specifically for patterns that could be helpful if you're also interested in selling your patterns as a PDF on Etsy or another site. The bunny pattern should be out by the time this vlog is out as well if you're interested in checking that out. I did cut my bangs a couple days ago and then I cut them again because I didn't like them uh, and I'm still not that happy with them but yeah if, if they just keep changing in the video please ignore it. So I've already done a sketch. So I did the front, front design and then the back design of the bunny. And then I like to break down each part that I need to create that are going to be sewn together to create the bunny. Um, so this just helps me figure out all the shapes and components that I need in order to create the bunny. Hi, so I'm currently in the testing stage of my bunny pattern. Um, I posted a tester call on my Instagram and I chose four testers that could help me. They're currently helping me test the pattern by crocheting their own bunny and letting me see if the pattern makes sense, if there's anything I can change, um, and overall any improvements that I can make before I finalize the pattern. I've gotten some feedback and I'm ready to create the version 2 of the bunny.
I've changed a couple things. So basically the the shape of the bunny is staying the same, but I wanted to change the pattern for the head. Um, before the brown didn't really wrap around to the back. It's like, you can see it's cut off here, so you don't see the brown in the back, but I wanted it to show, so I changed that part. And then for the body, before the pattern would end the body in the back or the front, which I didn't like because it kind of made the bunny more like you could see how the head tilts to one side, I think. So I changed it so the pattern ends in the back of the bunny instead, right here. And I think I adjusted the sides a little bit. You can't tell much of a difference, but it's it's there. <laughs> Just like a little bit better than it was before, which is all I really wanted. Um, so yeah, I crocheted all these new parts with the version 2. Um, I'm going to be taking a couple more pictures of the parts that I changed, so the head and the body. After that, I'll be sewing it together, I'll be taking pictures outside, and then I'll be creating the PDF, the finalized PDF on Canva. So I'm going to be trying this voiceover thing. Here I'm just crocheting the ear onto the bunny's head. A little bit of ASMR. So these are my two caps, Hana and Mika. I also got a snack. This is um, instant milk tea. And then I also have two oatmeal cookies I made. Mika was pretty interested in them. Mika likes to hang out with me when I'm crochet and play with all the yarn. Like it's, it's super cute sometimes, but it's, it makes it difficult to do work. I think like she's a little young now so when she gets older she might settle down a bit and maybe hopefully just like watch me when she's laying there because I do like having her as like a companion when when I'm doing my work it's just when she gets in the way of me doing my work it's a little annoying but she's still cute so I you know forgive her Mika is about 8 months old. We adopted her back in April of this year. She's super playful, super high energy, so I can understand why she finds me crocheting entertaining. You know, she just wants to participate. Um, if I just leave yarn hanging around, she's not going to play with it, but if I'm actively using it to make something, that's much more exciting for her. So here I'm making the flower that's going to go with the bunny. The flower is also included as part of my pattern. It's super easy to make, you just need two colors or you can also do a third for like a center colored flower. And then the flower fits perfectly right between the arms there. When I'm adding blush to my plushies, I use this soft pastel. So I like to mix the colors a bit because this like pink is way too bright for me. I take one color that I like. And then I just scrape a bit off. Then I start adding other colors to it. So this pink is too bright pink. I want it more like a light peachy pink color. So I'm adding a little bit of orange. 
Then I don't know if paper towel is the best way to do this. But then I just kind of like mix it on there. I add a little bit of this tan, this tan color here. That will make it like a softer, lighter pink. So I created this template on Canva. It's based off of my free bunny keychain pattern that's on my website and my YouTube. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what's in the template and kind of how you could change it a bit for your own patterns. So here is the cover page. So you can easily change the picture here. Just kind of take the picture from your uploaded pictures and then drop it in, you know, pretty easy. Um, and then you can edit all the text, whatever you'd like to do. So I am naming this bunny pattern um, Lila Bunny. And then here is like the contact information. You could just change it to yours. And then a little disclaimer so that people don't sell your pattern or distribute it to other people, hopefully. And then you got abbreviations, materials, any notes that's needed. This starts the instructions for the actual pattern. Um, title here and then all the rounds you need and any extra notes in between. You have pictures here of course and then like I showed you before you just switch it out by dragging it in. And then ears, same thing. This would be, sometimes there's no space on the right, top right that I like to put it in, so then I just put it below. This is an example of the pictures being on the side here with notes on how to assemble it. And if you just wanna use like a template or a specific page, you can just duplicate the page here and so you have two and then just change it to like body and then write all your the pattern down I guess um, so yeah that's all the instructions and then at the end of course here's like a little thank you page so I hope this is useful for anyone who's trying to get started on converting their patterns into PDFs if you're interested it's gonna be linked below um, I hope that you like it I hope that it's useful and yeah, good luck with all your patterns. Hi, so I just released my bunny pattern on my Etsy and my website amikarika.com. Um, I also posted my tester appreciation on my Instagram. 
Um, I had four lovely testers help me with this pattern. I'm going to put their cute plushies here. I wanted to say thank you to all my testers currently and in the past who helped me improve my PDFs. I'm super grateful that they're putting time and effort into creating their own plushies and helping me finding all my typos and mistakes and issues that I accidentally put in the PDF. It's always super exciting to see my pattern in different kinds of styles and colors. So here she is. I named her Lila, Lila the Lop-Eared Bunny. I'm pretty happy with how she came out. I just love, you know, the look of this like asymmetrical coloring and her little flower. I think that's super cute. Um, and of course the plushies paired together. I'm excited to make more bunnies and other animals. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but if you have any suggestions on what I can make next, um, like animal type or theme or anything like that, please leave me a comment below. And I am super grateful you made it through my video and that you took the time to watch this. I hope you got some value from this. Maybe you're gonna start designing your own patterns or maybe you just like to watch this in the background as you're crocheting too. So thank you for hanging out with me during this project. I hope you enjoyed my first crochet vlog the video. I'm gonna try to make this a weekly thing, if not bi-weekly, so twice a month. We'll see. I hope you have a nice day. Please remember to spread kindness always, and I'll see you in the next video.